Hi, I'm Sally, a founder of TripBod.com, and I wanted to share with you a special experience I recently had in Kenya. And apologies for the heavy breathing, there was quite a lot of strenuous activity involved. So, I've literally just woken up, um, been staying in this um, place right here, and um, what I've woken up to is this fairly incredible view around me. There are some greenhouses here, there are some cattle here ahead of me, and then if I come round the side of the um, place where I've just been staying, you can see the bathroom block, and um, what about that for a sunrise? Looking out over the Great Rift Valley in Kenya, where in about half an hour's time I'm going to be running with the next generation of elite Kenyan marathon runners. It's um, quite early in the morning, it's about 6.30, and you can hear the howler monkeys and all the birds and the different wildlife. Um, it's quite amazing. So we've had breakfast and this is the Dennis family who I've been staying with and we are ready to go. Are we ready to run team? We are ready! <laughs> so we are off to the beautiful Great Rift Valley to go running. Mama Dennis here is telling me the history oh, right. of the site where the runners camp is based. It was formerly the home of a Finnish missionary who on leaving the country sold the property to the community for what sounded like a fairly fair amount and um, it has since become homes for the community and is now developing into the runners camp. It's a really interesting place, a real variety of buildings that are being used for for various things from bedrooms through to kitchens and um, training areas um, but it's still very basic and in spite of that the team have made this an incredibly warm and welcoming home that they take great pride over we want to welcome our, our sister Sally so we want to put the face which is nice which you can comfortable with until you reach that place so here we go, we're setting off. I'm running with Mama and Papa Dennis's daughter, Charity, who's going to look after me. Yeah. <laughs> and here we go, and here's Bruce, Tripod Bruce. Ready for a great time. And we're training for Mount Kenya. This is the first day. See, when they are warming up, it's like they are calculating, they are putting their mind ready for the okay. for their battle, which is uh, running. They're getting ready yeah, for their battle. Because when you see, when they are warming up, it seems they are calculating. Eh? Right. So they do about three and a half, four miles of just warming up yeah. before they really get into it. And this is where the training happens. This beautiful place. And they're already back. One of the nicest things about running with the locals was that we were running through the places where they had been born and brought up and we were seeing the place genuinely through local eyes. The best part was getting to know local characters and Mama Dennis really did shine out in that respect. She at some point seemed to get a burst of energy and started racing on ahead, only we realised to jump on the back of a local motorbike and leave us for dust in fits of giggles. <laughs> and so you were telling me before that the diet of a marathon runner is meat only once a week. Once or twice, once a, week. Or twice a week. But the rest of the time, vegetables and beans. Vegetables and beans and also rice. And rice and eggs. In, in general, it's light food. Light food. Light food. And eggs. Ugali is mandatory always. Ugali. Ugali? What's Ugali? Ugali is a combination of uh, flour, water, and then you fry it up. Then you make a, a hard duck. So the guys are warming up and then they're going to do a full sprint session up this hill at full tilt. And I'm going to try and see how long I can keep up for. <laughs> so I'm now running with the ladies and this is at their normal pace. I'm going to see how long I can try and keep up. There goes Daisy, running past at full speed. Oh, the ground is really uneven and it's now really hot. Oh, and the ladies have gone. Man, they're incredible athletes. 
here comes the guys running also at full speed my goodness that is incredible ladies and gentlemen meet the future of athletics you'll be seeing these guys on the podiums and in the papers in not too many years Whoa, time. So fast. <laughs> come on Bruce run faster <laughs> I was so completely inspired by the runners and the community in Solian. These people are so utterly dedicated to their mission, both to create the running stars of the future and to create a better life for their children. And to feel a part of that was incredible. Um, a very happy time to end off our day. We've just had a fantastic, beautiful meal cooked by Mama Dennis, who is the best chef in the world. Well, I think we need wow. credits. Oh, and of course, oh, sorry, <laughs> Charity, who's been an absolute star. But most importantly, Charity has made the tea. And as you told me today, and Daniel told me, tea is Kenyan tea is one of the most important things for being uh, an elite runner. And so Charity has made us some of the best tea I've ever had. So we're sitting here. I'm on my second cup. That's why I'm so slow. I don't drink any of it. My second cup as well. Cheers. 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 <laughs> <laughs>